On this week's episode of Hunt United, Slade and Ryan are headed out to Monroe's, Colorado to chase bugling elk at Wilderness Basin Ranch. The anticipation is high, so hopefully they can get within bow range of these huge bulls that this ranch has to offer. Wilderness Basin Ranch is 880 acres of prime hunting just outside of Montrose, Colorado, and is one of the finest on the market. The Wilderness Basin Ranch is located in Game Management Unit 62 and is only two miles from GMU 61. This area is known across the nation for producing trophy elk scoring well over the 300 inch mark. Well, we are on our first trip of the year and we are pumped up. I don't think we could be in a better spot. No, it's beautiful, beautiful here in Colorado, just uh, southwest of Montrose. Mm -hmm. and, and we have long sleeve shirts on, yeah. sweatshirts on, it's cold. And we left the house this morning, it was probably 75 degrees this morning, you know, before eight o'clock. It's gonna be a great week. Hey, come daylight in the morning, it's gonna be on. Realtree and United Country Real Estate have joined forces to create Realtree United Country. Realtree land pros across the country are now here to help in the buying and selling process. But we're more than just a suit and a sign. When it comes to selling land, we're not scared to get our hands dirty. A land pro is a lifestyle, and we're proud to live it every day. This is our story. This is Hunt United. First born in Colorado. We got a bull bugling up top, but he's not saying a whole lot. And we're trying to really hunt soft and assess the wind and all that kind of stuff. But man, I feel blessed to be out here. It's beautiful country. Can't breathe, but it's pretty. This is the right move. We just come up with really steep incline. And if you look over my shoulder, we got another one to go. But this bull, the cam's down below, and this bull was all in here yesterday evening. He's up on top, but the way the wind's blowing, we got to come up here. I'm just worried about him falling off that hill and getting over here into this dark timber. I really feel like that's where he's going to go. But I'm following Slade. He's master hunter. All right, boys and girls, we are in them first morning, and we got one about 150 yards or so. Ryan's back below us calling our winds perfect. Wind's perfect. Man, the country up here is just beautiful. I love this place. Well, we had a bull bugle across this big canyon. We were walking up here and we got two small bulls right here. They're smart. Are they? Slade's looking at them. They said they're fighting. Just kind of ease up and see if we can see some more around them. Seems like, like when we cow called, them two little bulls come over here.
down and make a move. He's crossing ditch. I don't think he's coming back over here. I just, our wind just swirling. I'm hoping that bottom will take it down. Well, I just, just keep shadowing him, keep after him.
adrenaline rush like that. A little bit forward. He stopped and there were some limbs. But I think I got 10 inches, 12, maybe, maybe a foot of penetration. And it's in the shoulder a little bit. A little bit up. I think we're good. Because he was already bleeding. And I'm shooting these big blades. I think that's that same big five we called up the other day that we had the encounter with. Which is gonna be why he just stopped right there and just, I mean, we gotta, we gotta let him die. Got him, Bo. That's what I'm doing. I think it's that same big five He come in. You go in close. About 30 yards, he came right down the fence line. Right. And mule deer right there. Oh, he, uh, and he, when I shot, he jumped. I'm a little forward, he done a little forward, but I shot him with that fixed blade and he's immediately started bleeding. Oh yeah, should be good. All I can tell you is all three of us are lucky our heads are not that big around. Why? You know where y'all two were standing? Uh -huh. It's a hornet nest. That big around, that far above our head, y'all didn't affect them. So I get up there and I start calling and I say, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna grab his stick and start raking. <laughs> And I hear, and I look up and they are, I mean, they're right there. I'm like, I look, I threw my bow down and everything. That's why I run back down the hill. Well, we looked at the shot. It was actually better than I originally thought. Middle of the shoulder, good penetration. So uh, we've given him a couple hours. We're gonna slide in there real slow, hunt our way to him. We think he's down, we just wanna be sure. So let's go get him. Hopefully we got a rack bull down. That's that bush right there. Probably some blood. Yeah. Heck, there he is right there. <laughs> Boom, baby, he's down. Back up. He's down, buddy. Boom, look at the size of the body on this beast. Hey, thank you, boo. Back up. So, Got it done, son. Boom. That broadhead jumped on him. Little old butcher. Okay. Fixed blade, he did he didn't go 60 yards, 15 yards from the last place we saw him. Boom. Look at that. Look Big old spot. fire by. I think this is the same one we saw the other day. I think we had so. Look at that joker, son. That's fine. We oh. nailed back strass tonight, yeah, that's baby. That's it, baby. Hey. Right here in Colorado. That's right. Thank you, Dustin, Mr. Travis, Ed. Yes. Y'all have put us on them. Y'all made some redneck, redneck dreams come true. Yeah, ain't no doubt, baby. Ain't and no look, doubt. best thing about it, we can get the buggy right here to it. Right here to it. Look. We ain't got we ain't got to pack him out. We, ain't no I ain't got no, nobody to prove no, nothing no, to. No, uh, no hours of packing to this one, is it? And the, hey, another good thing about it is we got a day and a half to find yeah, you one. Absolutely. Thank you, boy. Hey, Appreciate it. I'm glad you got it. Thank you, good Lord. Unbelievable hunt here in Colorado. I love this place. Well, Travis, this lodge is unbelievable. When did when did y'all build it? Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we built it. Uh, had a custom built in 2007. Um, and put a lot of thought and, and effort into it, but designed to sleep a lot of people. Um, all the amenities of, of home plus some. We also have a guest cabin for any overflow. Well, Travis, I noticed on the maps, we're right here by Unit 61. I think it takes 15 or 20 years to draw a tag in Unit 61, and they kill some giant bulls, and it looks like from the elk that you've shown me and y'all got on the wall, y'all got some giant bulls right here too. We do. We're very fortunate because of how close we are to there. Those those elk don't know where that line is, you know. And and so we're very fortunate, you know. During hunting season, we'll see a lot of 300 plus inch bulls. In our area, it's very rare to find as much water as, as what we've got, and that's what that's what makes our hunting so so good here is because of our abundance of water. We've got over two miles of year-round streams running through the property, two different creeks running through. We've got 14 ponds that register on the topo map. Thank y'all so much for having us out. Thank y'all for coming. Thank, thank you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. All right, we got a bull bugling up here, the original one we started after. Another one got fired up, and he's just down below this hill. He has come a long way. Big bull.
stop him, Slay. Is that windy? I am. We just come up a big mountain, went down one and up after this big bull that we seen this morning and it just can't get on him. It's too, he's got too many cows and he's moving too fast. And we had that, you know, the big five by run in there. And yeah. I mean, it's hard to shoot a five by five, two ninety. Three hundred, yeah. Yeah, with a 350 plus, 350 plus right, right behind him. Giant. And I had him at probably 57 yards at one time, 55 to 57, but it was a cow, a cow right there in the way. Hey, what, bottom what, line is the Wilderness Basin <clears> Range, <throat> you know, all week, Travis has been telling us, and Mr. Ann, when that switch flips, yeah. and the bulls start moving around, and that's what happened this morning. That bull hadn't been on us all trip, and all of a sudden yeah. he brought in, what, it, three, it three was probably, satellites? Yeah, three satellite bulls and, and probably eight cows, six, and, seven, eight cows. And a monster bull, and we heard at least four or five other ones bugling oh, this morning, and, and the, they still bugling. And the bad thing about it, we got to fly out here in a couple of hours. That's it. <laughs> but Hunt United, we had a great time here in Colorado. Well, this week's featured property is the Wilderness Basin Ranch. You've seen us hunting here all week, and this is truly a special place. The lodge we've stayed in is world class. They even got a guest cabin down the way. The hunting is second to none. You're 30 minutes, actually less than 30 minutes from Montrose and airports, restaurants. It's secluded, but close to town. The elk hunting, unbelievable. We heard six or seven bulls this morning and probably saw 350, 360 plus. Unbelievable hunting, mule deer, turkeys, grouse, it's got some ducks on the place, unbelievable fishing, and just a truly special place. So if you're looking for a place in Colorado, you definitely want to check out the Wilderness Basin Range.